Hi there, it's Kathy again at One Sweet Shop. I finished another one of the Tide journals that I've been working on this last week or so, week and a half or so. And uh, this one I added uh, little wooden beads to because I really like the pink and the pink and green. And I've kind of been going through my stashes because I've really wanted to use up some of the stuff that I have around here. I also put a few on the tie here. Um, these are printables that actually came with the printable kit I was using in here. This was um, Shabby Chic from the Polk Art Studio. Um, beautiful, beautiful prints, and they're so soft. I, I just love that soft look. I think that in one of my other videos, I called this the Romantic Shabby Chic. But I do believe the printables are just called Shabby Chic in... Um, her Etsy store, the Polk Art Studios. And I added some pearls to the cover and a few layers of different printables that I really liked. I wanted to just kind of have the cover match the inside. And I used a little bit of embossed paper. I used a very old vintage doily to cover that. And then I just trimmed this in here and I put the doily overlapping the other side of the page. And I thought, what a beautiful first page that is. So I've added a few tags with, with uh, little paper clips here and there. There's a little fabric tag. I've used cards in here, different little tuck type spots, different pieces of the pages that came with these kits to make um, inserts, little um, seed cards. I think these are seed packages. Um, stationery, lots of, um, lots of the copy dye prints that I've made. And I sewed most of the lace on. I think there might have been one that was an actual glued one. It wasn't sewn. And that's the only one that wasn't sewn in. I used different little brads. A little metal key here I thought was cute. Different tags that I've been working on. And I kind of get into this tag theme. And I'll make like two or three hundred tags at a time. And stick them in a little box. So I have them all ready to go. Uh, this is a very old vintage hanky. And I thought, I'd love to put that inside there. Oh, if you can hear my dog in the background, she must hear the mailman. And uh, just little inserts. This is a pocket I made from... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can't remember who made that. Treasure Books, I think. And a little ribbon rosette. And, you know, I mounted these on buttons. And they work quite well. I think I'll put a backing on this button, though, because I have had where some of the hot glue is let, let, let go, and I want it to stay. So I think I will put a little felt backing on there, maybe, just to hold that in place. But that'll be okay. It'll be all good. Uh, here's some more little tags. I got these from various different Etsy stores. Um, I will put their links in the descriptions. Um, they're just little printable tags and ephemera pieces. So now that I put a little topper on this page, and I've glued it in so it's not removable. And there's some more coffee dye paper. Uh, little dangles on paper clips. This was a paper clip wrapped with music note paper and then just a little ribbon rose put on it and put onto a larger paper clip. This is, uh, this is actually a card, but it was embossed. It was absolutely beautiful. And I thought maybe someone would like to use it as a booklet, put a little piece of paper in there as a booklet or... And I put a little muslin bow on that one. I, did, I was doing so many of these at, at the time that quite a few. This is some um, kind of vintage lace I've had, and it's uh, crocheted or something. It's got a few little little character spots there, here and there, but it looked very pretty. I might put some ribbon on that. These are different types of cards that I've gotten, but they all have the rose theme, and I thought, well, this journal is perfect for that. So, And I wasn't sure about pink lace, but I thought, you know, I'm going to use it up. And it's going to look beautiful anyway. There's lots of pinks and greens in here. And uh, these are all the different pages. And again, this is one of those Tide journals. So let me slide that over. It looks like it moved while I was doing things. You can just slide the pages out, decorate them yourself, slide them back in. And just, just give them a little jiggle to get them all right back onto their seam again. And uh, it makes it so easy to decorate, like... You could sew little buttons along here. It would look adorable. This is another little card that I really liked, and I thought I'm sticking that in there because someone would just love that for writing in and, you know, putting some memories. These are all sorts of other pieces of ephemera that I I found in my travels here. Well, and this is one I actually made myself, but I don't have it hooked in. 
Maybe I'll find a spot to hook it in here. There's got to be more places. Here's some more really pretty lace that I had. It was like a double lace. I just love it. And I sewed this in. It's just gorgeous. I just love that lace. It looks like it should be on like a wedding dress or something. It's another piece of, um, another piece of, uh, paper here from a little notepad. And some more ephemera on there. And then these, I've made these are from the Digital Collage Club. And I made little cards from them. And I thought, well, that one has a lot of pink on it, and I'm going to put it in there. So you might see a little bit of sewing on the edges of the pages, just where I've added added the lace to hold it all in. This is really pretty with all the different places to write in there. There's some more here. Oh, there, that can go underneath this, with this one. This is like a map page, and I put butterflies and roses on it and uh, made some printables at one time from it. Just fun little things. These can be moved anywhere in the book that you want. So and then I found Mona Lisa and I thought, well, I'm going to stick Mona Lisa in there. It gives this uh, journal a little bit of mystery there. And then we're on to the third signature. This had originally started out as a four signature journal. And I narrowed it down to three. Just because I thought, you know what? I think I'll make it three. And I'll make them to have really nice. There's another uh, print from the Digital Collage Club that I printed out and made a tag from. And I made little bookmarks and this was a little envelope from Digis and SVG for you, I do believe it was. And I think these actually came from them too. Oh, that's upside down. These came from them too. And, but I'll put that, their name down in the bottom there in the description. I bought those from a, I'm not sure if I bought it from Etsy or if I bought it from Design Bundles. I may have bought it from Design Bundles. So I'm not quite sure. I'll check on that. This has a little card inside. It's a beautiful little envelope. This has some more little spots. This can slide underneath the lace there. Some music pages. Oh, I forgot to shade this. So I'm going to do that. I think I did it on the other one on the other side of this one but i didn't shade that one so i'll have to do that some more different cards that i have made quite a while back more beautiful coffee dye paper and then just little little tucks there's tons and tons of tags in this in this journal there's tons of places to write lots of things that you can record all your memories on so it's actually quite nice and then I found this little sister bookmark, and I thought, you know, I'm going to use that. And then this is just a little collage tag I had made. And I thought, well, I'm going to insert that too. I didn't put too many of these little ties on. I thought people might like to go with their own color theme. So they may put ribbon on here and change the color theme. They may add some burgundy or something. So I thought, I'm leaving these blank, and they can punch holes and put little ribbons on if they so wish. This is just a pretty little embellishment I put on that pocket. It looks so nice. And then I made this little insert and um, I put a bunch of tags inside of it. So this can be moved. I attached it with a paper clip, but it can be moved anywhere inside the journal and just put wherever it is that you'd like it to be. And then we're down to the back page again and onto a pink rose. And that's it. That's what this journal looks like. It was covered in muslin. Um, this muslin was maybe not as thick as some of the muslin I've used, but it turned out beautiful. And if someone so wishes, they could always cover this backing with lace too, if they wanted to. But I believe that she turned out so pretty. Um, she's going to go into my shop because all of the really um, thick, thick journals like this, I just don't have room to storage them for myself so or to use them. I'm making my own, and it's going to be a massive journal out of a big book. So this one's going to go into my store for sale. Um, what is this? November 1st. Um, I think I'm going to have them out by... Oh, I hate giving a date because I have to write all the descriptions. I'm going to show you the other journals I was making last night. Um, by the 10th, they will be out and about into my Etsy store and you can find them there but anyway thank you so much for um, coming to my channel for viewing my my creativity um, it's just a little bit of things I love to do so thank you very much have a great day bye bye